really want to save. It's an old typewriter. If I had an ink ribbon, I could save my progress. I really want to save. But I can't. It's locked. A carving of an armor. Do I still have the mansion key? I do! Okay, that can unlock more things, it looks like. So let's see if there's other doors that need unlocking. Like... Over here! Can I unlock you? You've used the mansion key! I want to also check. See if I missed anything else in here. Maybe there's more ink ribbons. I really hope so. A picture of a chubby woman. <laughs> the last thing I would describe a woman as. Oh man, I hate that the zombie bodies just disappear like that. It's probably creepier than the zombies themselves. Alright, we got the map. No, no, what are you doing, Crit? No! Turn and walk. And there'll be 50 billion zombies in here. Well, it's a locked door, so maybe they can't get in there. Okay, nothing in here. Creepy stuff. No kidding. <laughs> Is that a window or something? What's this? What's this? Creepy stuff. Again, no kidding. <laughs> it's probably the best joke that they have in here. <gasps> oh god! Oh god. Die! Oh my god. I've only got two bullets. Combine. No! No, 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 no. No. Oh, I was doing so good. Oh my god. Oh. That means I have to do all of that again. Moonlight Sonata and everything. Well, I'm gonna leave the blue jewel for now, because it doesn't seem like it's something I'm gonna use right yet. Oh, I just want some ink ribbons. I shouldn't have used the ink ribbon, jeez. You have once again entered the world of survival horror. Good luck. Uh, well, at least it's not much. I'll meet you guys back in the creepy room with the creepiest stuff. See you then. Well, what should I do now? If you go out to search for the other members, how about letting me come with you? All right, let's do it. Yes, sir. I'll do my best. I have to prepare something. Would I'll you like do to my go best. Ahead? Oh, that scene is bugging me right now. But you know what? It's probably going to make sense later. Don't want to know how, but... Probably make some sense, hopefully. Are we sure we can't push this? Doesn't help that the camera angle's weird. No, we can't. Okay, whatever. Probably, like, some sort of hid hidden door. We have to set the clock to a certain time or something, like in Silent Hill 2. I have played that game, by the way, so... <laughs> if I do decide to LP any of the Silent Hill games, that one will, will not be blind. Mm, I don't want to fight Doggy again. I did not want to... I do not want to. I want to have a, ni a nice, a nice time, not fighting the doggy. Uh, actually, you know what? We can get to other areas of the first floor, can't we? Let's see if the key works in any of those doors. Maybe we can circumvent the doggy. The doggy. <laughs> Uh, 
was taking a lot of bullets, too. Jeez. I dropped like no frames, too. That's awesome. It's locked. Carving of an armor. Yes, yes, yes. I keep expecting zombies to have respawned. It's locked. A carving of an armor. Like, I keep expecting the zombie that was here earlier to be here now, even though I've killed it. Uh, did we go through here before? Oh yeah, we unlocked this door. That's right. I forgot about- oh, wait a minute. You locked? It's locked. Carving of an armor. Uh, no, no, no. Go back around. There we go. What about in here? So, blue doors are unlocked, it seemed. It seems. Can I unlock you? Wait, you're a red door, so... Carving of an helmet. An helmet. <laughs> Why do I keep calling it that? <laughs> okay, go through the door, Chris. Go through the door. Now that I've cleared out the, the zombies and they're not just being irritating, it's a lot more fun to go through these halls. Oh yes, there's those chemicals. I wonder what those are for. You know what I should probably be doing? I should probably be picking these up and throwing those in the storage crates. So let's do that. Because I know the chemical might be useful. Well, it's an item that I can pick up. It's got to be useful later on. I don't know what for, but I want to inspect it as well. Will you take the chemical? Chemical X! <laughs> Gardening tools. Nothing useful. I don't know. I could use a pair of shears. Snip off a zombie's head. Alright, so we got the chemicals in the chest. And I'm assuming that we can access those chests between each other. Otherwise, why would they be there? It makes like it makes for a bigger inventory, I'm guessing, but not one that you can access all all the time. It's locked from inside. Oh, okay, that's what that one is. So no, we cannot access any of the rest of the first floor. That's okay. That's okay. I wanted to get the chemical. No big deal. Um. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We put the chest key. Or not the chest key, the desk key in one of those boxes. I didn't see it in this new one. I want to make sure that it's not there. Also, we've got the study, and I don't remember if there's a desk in there. So we might be able to use it, so I might want to grab it. Ah, uh, chemical. Nothing. Oh, small key. There we go. Okay, so they do transfer between each other. Cool. That is actually very useful. I mean, otherwise, why would they have them there, I guess? Because otherwise, they'd just be chests that you store things in for a little while. And you'd have to do so much backtracking. Well, there's already so much backtracking, I guess, but whatever. It's fun, because you... I still have the sense that I'm going to go around this corner, and then there's going to be the zombie right there. And then I'm going to go over here, and zombie right there. The doorknob is broken. What? Wait a minute, what? Oh, well, because I didn't run back in there after I had come out of the study. That's just to uh, be like, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, I'm stuck in here. i got to fight these zombies for real. Doody doody doo. -de -doo. Okay, no, these aren't. This isn't a desk. These are just drawers. Nothing uncommon. Anything rare? Can I open you this time? No. I really want some health, please. It is well arranged. Okay, so there's nothing here at all. Okie dokie, so I have to, I have to fight the doggy now. I don't see any other way around it. Because we've explored all of the first floor that we can get to so far. 
I am not going through that hallway with the zombies on the second floor yet. Because I have no health. I'd rather go fight the dog than that. Well, how much... How many bullets do we have? We've got 30. I guess I could go to that hall on this in the second floor, but I... I don't know. I much rather would fight the dog again than fight zombies right now, because... Uh... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I go to I can go to certain death or I can go to certain death and I'll probably have to redo everything cuz I'll die. Oh man. I wonder if I could just run past the dog. Well, no, cuz it's probably the point of having a dog there. Instead of having a zombie, because you can just keep running from the zombie, but not the dog. If I don't get hit by the dog the first time, maybe. But we're going to find out next time on Let's Play Resident Evil with Mio X Vu. And we're going to try to take on that dog again, because huh, I'm ready. Hoo, 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 hoo. Yeah. Because I'm Chris Redfield, a man who can skate on the carpet. Alright, so I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play... Blah, blah, blah. Let's blindly play Resident Evil with New York's Foo. <laughs> Alright guys, take it easy.